Hello my lovely Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for October 2024. This is a general reading for you Sagittarius, it's a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Rising and Moon sign. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there. <clears throat> Thank you for liking, sharing, subscri subscribing, commenting, giving me a thumbs up. It helps to circulate my channel. I truly appreciate your support. <clears throat> my lovely Sagittarius, I've been meditating on your energy and I just... Oh, I get this vision of I'm cutting those ropes, I'm cutting those ties. Cut, 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 cut. What's holding you back? What's enclosing you? What do you need to release? What do you need to let go of? A lot of those ropes you're holding on to, let them go. Let them go. It's time to release them. It's time to let them go. It's time to understand what is restricting you. What is holding you back? It could be your childhood. It could be um, parental expectations, um, even the language that you use, self-talk, that keeps you trapped that keeps you within the confines of where you're at. I feel like it's a time where you're reviewing, what do I want to do? Is this how I want to live my life? What do I need to do? What do I need to put in place to change? Do I need to change? Do I need to change my perception? These are all questions that you may be asking yourself. What needs to happen to bring in the changes you desire? It could simply be a change of perspective. Nothing tangible needs to change, but something within you needs to shift. Something within you needs to change. Something within you, you need to understand. Something that's been sitting there for a long time. It could be a sense of self-worth, accomplishment, a need to accomplish. Why? For others or for yourself? Big questions that are coming up here for you this month, my lovely Sagittarius. I'm going to draw a card from the Mystical Shaman Oracle. Let's have a look at what is the overriding... Oh, oh there they are. Two. Two. You've got two. Okay, let's have a look at what they are. We've got the Jaguar. Interesting. The jaguar is in control of the jungle, moves through the jungle, is the predator, moves through with confidence. Is it time for you to break out of that, that space, that area, taking charge, taking control, observing what you're needing to change, what you're needing to bring about? There's a power with the Jaguar so that there is that power and that strength within you. You have all the resources that you need to be able to move out of where the environment that you're in, moving through. Jaguars move through the jungle, the whole jungle. There's no boundaries. There's no, there's no restrictions. Do you need to break through some of those boundaries to be able to move about like the Jaguar does? with stealth, with surety, with confidence. The other card that you've got is water, which is interesting because what does water represent? Water is fluid. Water ebbs and flows. The tides come and go. So opportunities come and go. Life is, you know, good moments where there's a lot of, you know, the high tide and then it washes back where it's low tide. But it's also about the flow of water, going with the flow, allowing it to transport you, to take you wherever you're needing to go. It, water is also about intuitions or emotions. Water is about emotions, intuition and understanding. Journey of self-discovery, asking those big questions. Water is also cleansing what is it that you need to cleanse? What do you need to purify? What do you need to look at? What do you need to... Water also removes toxins, removes impurities. What do you need to move out of your life? 
What do you need to cleanse? What thought patterns? What self-beliefs? Could be people, toxic people, situations. What needs to be processed? What needs to be cleansed? What needs to be moved? Really interesting. I'm going to draw a card from my Divine Animal Oracle deck. Let's have a look at what, oh, what your totem animal is. Let me get that. That's flown across the room. Okay, let's have a look. What is this? Oh, the armadillo. Groundedness. So it's about being grounded. It's about being grounded. You've got the sun there, which is the opportunities, positivity. Where the sun shines, there is no darkness. There is no blocks. There is no, it, everything's there. Ready, it'll, it will just flow. The armadillo is very resilient, self-protective. It can, if it's threatened, it rolls up into a tight ball and it grounds itself, can't be moved. So it's about you really being grounded, looking at things in a practical way as well. What changes do you want to bring in? What cleansing do you want to do? What do you need to remove? How is it, how is it going to happen? How do you bring that about? It's about having that practical element as well, my lovely Sagittarius. Interesting. Okay, let's have a look at the Celtic Cross. Let's create the Celtic Cross for you. Flying out everywhere. See, there's a new emotional beginning coming up here for you. Gee. <laughs> Flying out everywhere. Let me get those. Okay, so we've got a nice little stack here. Let's see what's going on here. So we'll use them all because they were given to us, weren't they? So we need to see what's going on. And we've got five more. So you get another little reading. I'll just put those over here to the side and we'll have a look at those in a moment. Okay, so the first card you've got here is the Ace of Cups. This is a new emotional turning point. This is where water comes in. This is about emotions. This is about a new beginning. This is about a new awareness. This is about a turning point. Maybe you're feeling more confident and capable and, and happy within your environment, work environment or home environment. I feel like it's more to do with work for you this month, my lovely Sagittarius. Maybe you're feeling more confident. Things are falling into place for you. You're able to go with the flow. This can also be a new, uh, new beginning in a relationship, someone that you may have already met. This contains potential here for you. If you're seeking a romantic relationship, then here's the month to be able to do that, to start looking at that. Maybe that's something that you're wanting to review, wanting to look at, a change that you're wanting to make. Very interesting. Here you've got the Knight of Cups. It's, again, emotions, water. There's a lot to do with water in the beginning of the month for you, my lovely Sagittarius. Exploring your emotions, not hiding from them. The Knight of Cups is about moving forward in a relationship, in a new job, in a new way of being, something that you feel really emotionally involved in or attached to, something that you really desire. It's time to start putting the plans into action, moving forward with that. It's about having faith in your own abilities, having faith in who you are, having faith in, in your capabilities, reviewing what's holding you back and having a faith in who you are, regardless of what you've been told by externals, by people that have an expectation of you, parents, bosses. You've also got the Palace of Coins. So, my lovely Sagittarius, this is about you be. There's, there's. Finances are good and they're only going to get better. There's abundance here. There's, it's feeling nourished, feeling comfortable, feeling grounded. This is the armadillo, feeling grounded, feeling earthed. And in that earth, earth in being earthed and confident, you know, when you're grounded, you're confident. 
that brings um, brings about a financial improvement, financial gain. Uh, it could be an increase in it could be a new promotion or position that you're going to be holding as well. You've also got the Eight of Pentacles. Gee whiz, you're really working overtime. This, this is working into the night. This is working overtime, working into the night, working long hours. But it's well worth the effort because it is going to give you the results that you are seeking. There's something here where there's money coming to you. It could be through work that money's coming to you. Um, but it's through your efforts. It's through working overtime. It's networking. So you're going to be, it's going to be a very busy month, a lot of hours, investing a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of knowledge, but it is going to bring you the rewards that you're seeking. I really, really like that. This involves sleepless nights, anxiety, worry. If you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling worried, it's a good to speak to someone about how you're feeling. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed with everything that's going on in your life, in your work, in, around you in the month of October. You may need to confide in someone, someone that you trust, speak to a professional. If, there are, if there's sleepless nights, if it's keeping you awake with thoughts, with worries, mind you, at night when you're, when you're on your own, uh, you can make a mountain out of a molehill. And in the morning, you look at it and you go, what was I worried about? Why did that keep me awake? Simply talking to someone can absolutely help, help with that level of anxiety or concern or worry that, that may come up for you in maybe the third week of October. Through changing that you're bringing about through decisions and choices that you're needing to make. So there's decisions here for you to make. There's choices here for you to make. I feel like it's got to do with work. It may for some of you have to do with your private life, personal life, don't know. Let me know. Put it in the comments. You've also got the Queen of Swords here. This is uh, the Queen of Swords is male or female. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius person that is around you, that is there supporting you. Um, I feel like they're the foundation. They're the uplifting. They're the foundation around you. There's a lot that this person thinks a lot, processes a lot. Um, it, they're worth listening to. If they've got advice to give, it's worth taking it on board or listening, at least listening to it. This is also about you being in control of your, your, your planning, what you want to do, where you want to be, what changes you want to make and having the courage to start putting those in place. It's interesting though because you don't want to overthink it, okay? You've got also, um, has it been new learning? Have you been through some sort of learning curve? There's that, that's in the past, that's in the past. It's impacted on you because it has been a strain. But it's there's been a lot of wisdom and learning that you've gained from it. There's, don't take with you the, the difficulties and the problems. Take with you the, the wisdom and the knowledge that you've gained from those experiences. That's more important here, much more important here, because it allows you to move forward with new, new goals, new planning. The Page of Swords, let's plan new planning, new goal setting. What direction do you want to move in? What do, you want to, what do you want to do? Is this a stepping stone to something bigger and greater that you're moving towards, my lovely Sagittarius? There's an awful lot to do with work here. Um, if, if you're retiring, if you're at an age where you're retiring, it's also about setting yourself up, your goals, your thoughts in setting yourself up for that retirement, getting ready for that or moving into a new job, finishing study and moving into a new job. There's just this big shift coming for you, my lovely Sagittarius. The final card's the High Priestess. Don't forget to listen to your intuition. You're very, very intuitive. Read between the lines. Really feel into the energies. Feel into what others are bringing to you. I feel like there's also, I want to say to you, that there's also a um, situation where there could be someone leaning on you or pulling you in a particular direction. Um, may, that may be what you need to close the door on because you've got your own things that you're needing to deal with. 
follow your intuition very important that's going to absolutely be heightened by the end of October and then we've got this series of cards that that fell fell out as well let's have a look at this what have we got you've got the devil card you see this is about not being manipulated not being pulled in in directions that you don't want to go in that could be to do with work could be to do with parents with family with whatever it is but it's about not being manipulated but it's also about you not taking shortcuts not being tempted to take shortcuts not being tempted to look at the solutions in an easy way rather than delving deep within you you need to ask yourself the big questions and if you do, it brings you to the world. The world is your oyster. There's tremendous potential that's coming up. Here you've got the fool in the center. You've got all the elements here, air, fire, water, and earth. There's a balance. The world is your oyster to explore new things coming to you. Great results. Don't be tempted to take shortcuts. Follow your intuition because that brings about for you this great potential. You're about to reap the rewards of your efforts. Happy families. You're going to end up in this lovely place of balance. Oh, I've arrived, I feel safe, I feel secure, I feel happy. I'm moving in the direction I want to be moving in. Um, is a birth of a, new, of a child. There's, there's, there's just happiness here. There's comfort, there's security. Loyalty, you've got a dog there. That's loyalty, loyalty here. Be surrounded by those that, and family can take many shapes. It doesn't necessarily mean your blood family. It can be very good friends can also be, you know, you can consider them family as well. And then you've got the Queen of Coins, the Queen of Pentacles. And this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn person that is around you that could be of the showing me here I need to put this card up as well that you got this person might be um, experiencing some sort of thinking of a, 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 a thought pattern of loss so they've got this attitude of loss they've lost something but in fact they haven't look at that stained glass window with all the um, light coming through and the pentacles they haven't lost anything but that's the way they they feel deserted they feel on their own they feel on the outer but that's the way they perceive it because that's not reality that's this Capricorn um, person Could be Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn around you, male or female. But that, they need to find that inner strength. The Queen of Pentacles can also be an energy that's coming in around you, an energy of strength, of power, but nurturing as well which brings about tremendously positive results for you. Really thorough, interesting reading for you, my lovely Sagittarius. Let me draw a card now from the Divine Abundance deck. Let's see what that has in store for you. Let's see how we wrap up this reading. Liberation. It's going to be an incredibly liberating month for you. The dragonfly, the dragonfly can hover, can stay in one place and hover and buzz around um, and it's about you finding that stillness but still with movement. It's stillness but with internal movement. The doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe anymore that they are you. And there's this review, this under new understanding of who you are and what potential you hold. And that's going to be very liberating for you. That's a tremendous reading. I love it. 
I love it, my lovely Sagittarius. I wish you love, light and many blessings for the month of October. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there.